case of beer, mostly full, which means we're feeling great today. Ready to rip some lips! What's up, Memphers? Welcome to day number two of the Random Bounds Tour. We ended up going north, if you guys watched the last video and we brought ourselves to a brand new lake that we've never fished ever. We're in the middle of nowhere, we got crystal clear water, we caught epic smallmouth yesterday, um, but this lake that we were told and we think is, it looks good, good enough on the map to fish. We just got here, this is the only ramp, and look at the damn water. It's about an eighth of an inch deep the entire way out. It's not looking good, but we did see uh, a smallmouth on a bed or, or swimming around a bed right there, so we need to, figure out a way somehow to get into this blowout hole to get the boat off the trailer. It's going to be interesting. Still on it. I ain't kidding you. I am not kidding you. That's a decent one. Might be for this leg. I don't know. It's, oh, fighting hard. I figured that would happen. New lake, first fish. Jesus, this is actually a pretty solid one. Kind of surprised. Never been to this lake, had no idea. Okay, that's a, that's a freaking tank, dude. Whoops, we found another good lake. That's a tank sore. Look what I'm throwing. I'll have to show you guys what I'm throwing again. If you watched the last video, you know. But uh, you guys are gonna have to see what I'm throwing. All right, off to start with, there it is. 496 is what we're off to a start with. Look at that thing! There's a guy at the lake though right now. We're gonna keep him down just a hair. He's a wall. So that's head. a freaking way to start. Five pounder. Ha! So if you guys watched a video yesterday, this is what I'm using. It's this 10,000 fish Sakoshi bug. It's a Laztec, like a turd is, but this is, uh, it's got some feelers on it. I think it looks more like a crawdad personally gets bit caught a bunch of good ones on it yesterday started the day off with i'm not gonna say it was a five pounder it was only a 496 and uh yeah this is like exclusive to shop carl's i'm also supposed to let you guys know shop carl's is having a freaking giant father's day sale father's day is an amazing amazing day everybody's got to love their fathers because they take them out fishing that's who started my terrible fishing addiction but yeah i'll put the link down in the description for the uh, the shop carl's mystery tackle box sale for the uh for the father's day go go check it out and get some of these guys they freaking work tucker really likes that lynn <laughs> joe don't catch him <laughs> oh there's a fish on a bed right there he's not gonna bite now oh, there he goes. just kidding oh he likes it you got it yep. You bet. That's the smallest one we've freaking seen. How do you know when you got one? <laughs> Another bed fish that we saw. Oh, I got a mega. <laughs> Doubled up. With Doubled. A mega. Come on up, buddy. I want to see that one jump. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah, this is not small. I saw him though, he didn't look that big, but it could just be because he was way out. He ate it almost on the fall. I must have landed it in a bed or something. I can't even move this thing. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. That one swam away upside down. Oh my god. 
Oh, it's big and he might just be hooked funny. Snagged one. And he's giant, so that helps as well. This one's for Oliver and his side chick rig. Oh, it was? Yeah. I do. I didn't even move it, and he had it already. He might have swallowed it. What do you think, Chuck? Jesus, freaking fight here, man. There we go. You bet. It's a daggum tank. I hope I didn't kill her. Biggest one of the trip so far for me. That is a tank. Drop the old Carolina rig, side chick rig. She got it down to gold. I'll get a weight on her and then I need to do some surgeries. 551. Freaking giant. This tour does not suck. Unbelievable fish. I thought I was snagged. Yeah, I saw that. It looked like you were. That was a pretty fucking sweet uh, bubble. Yeah, that was insane. Just caught like nine pounds of fish at once. Yeah. Ryan's turn, ain't it? Yeah, I'd say so, man. No, there she goes. With the bait in her mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's an it's an either. I can't big. tell. They're all biggins, dude. They're all big. I was like, well, she's swimming away. Oh, it's baits in her mouth. <laughs> They certainly fight a lot harder here. That's a big one. I thought it was a big one. They look way smaller than they are up close. Yeah. Look at this uh, shrimp she's spitting up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Baby. God, these fish are just beautiful coloration here. Stop. You bet. It's like as long as it is wide. Mm -hmm. it's not long. And the four pounder. Yeah, hard. Wow. Okay. That's a uh it's a fat wan. Fat padawan. Whew. Okay, this lake also does not suck. Oh, there we go. I saw your rod tip go. Oh. Mm -hmm. I thought my line was swimming away with it. She came back and got it. Nice. That's the nice thing with the side chick rig. It swims. It is in fact a swim bait. Oh god, I might have done it. I might have caught a small one. <laughs> oh, that one was only four pounder. I'm work on my hook sets, Tucker. That might be the one that freaking bit a little bit ago and chased it. Ugh. Never fun to lose them, but it's it hurts a little bit less when. You catch a bunch of five pounders and you get one that's under five pounds. What do you think, Tuck? You agree? Got a little bit of what they call a bug issue going on right now. Freaking caked in these things. They're not biting, they're just so annoying. <laughs> All right, so we found a really big bed fish earlier, smallmouth that is, and we're trying to decide whose turn it is to fish for them. And so just like yesterday, figuring out where we were going, we're using the randomizer wheel again. So we got Ben, Brian, and Zark on here. Time to spin her, see who gets the dub. Ah, that's dumb. Hey! It says Zark. All right, one last hurrah. Joe's gonna try to catch the one mysterious bedfish that he's hooked once or twice. How many times have you hooked it? Six or seven times? Once. Once? <laughs> Actually, he might have bit twice. I think he bit one other time. But it's a big one, so we're gonna give him one last shot, and then uh, I think we might go ahead, not might, we're definitely gonna go ahead and go and head to another lake, or six, or 12. So far, I mean, freaking absolutely epic. And uh, yeah, let's end it on a big bang. Grass is always greener. Grass is always greener. 
the main rule of fishing is always leave fish when they're giant to go fish somewhere you never fished before. <laughs> That's how we like to fish our tours. Yeah, she's up to the right of where I cast it. I don't know though. It's so stupid. Oh, there she is again. She's up there a long ways. Oh, oh my God, dude. She did that got her. Got her. Oh, 17 hours later. Please don't come off. <laughs> it's not small. Watch out, Joe. It's big. Boom. And she spit up a pink turd, Joe. Maybe that was in the net again. We got everything. Finally did it. Oh, she does exist. Sorry, Joe. It's a decent one. What, two pounds probably? Pound and a half maybe, at most. Weigh her. This is the one that we were trying to catch for so damn long. This is Zark's fish. Zark deserves this one. Good fish. Let's put. Let's get her weight on her. This it's insane that we're just like, meh. It's just a five pounder. No big deal. Four eighty nine. Not as big as we thought she was, but tank. Look at that one. Get her right back on her bed. Hey guys, welcome back again. We're uh, we're in the middle of nowhere this time. It's been an amazing couple days up here on our randomized north tour with the Zark and cameraman Brian and Tucker. Tucker went somewhere, I'm not sure where Tucker went. But yeah, we just drove another couple hours. We are in the middle of nowhere, the last 10 miles or so. We're all dirt road, and that's to get to this lake right here. A um, uh, very kind mf -er. shout out to you, my man. Told us about this lake, he said he caught a six pound, 13 ounce smallmouth here uh, just this last fall. So there's obviously giants in here. Another one we're just gonna have to totally go break down, start to finish, just kind of fish our way through it. We have no spots on this or anything. But it's not a giant, giant, like three, four hundred acres, and uh, we're gonna get the boat dumped in. There's a giant fish waiting. Let's go. Yeah, I think this is the spot dreams are made of. Rocks everywhere. Is that a babe? Digging? What's up, buddy? Oh, I got one. Smallest fish of the day. Smallest fish of the trip, no? Whatever, Brian. Oh, my line broke. I mean, still. No, that was just an observation. Nice freaking fish. Not a mega giant like we've been used to, but switched lakes. We do, in fact, still know how to catch a couple. Switched up to this little craw bait. I mean, I probably could have caught them on my other bait, but the Sikorsi. But, but, I like to catch fish on more than one bait the entire time. So yeah, hey, well, three pounder to start. I'll take him. Looks tiny compared to everything else we've caught. Ooh. Get in there. Oh my god, you got, got it. Got it. <sighs> okay. Dude, there's one with him, Joe. Throw in there. Okay. 
first top water fish of the trip again not not a big one by any means compared to what we've been catching but solid three pounder walking bait on a rock point you guys can probably see the bottom of the lake right here super super shallow um yeah i just thought that it'd be a good time to pull out the top water bait it works sometimes i'm i'm right once in a great 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 wow. Oh, is that a, that's a pike, yeah. Please don't break me off. <laughs> oh, God, he freaking crushed it. Got so excited for a second. <laughs> uh, pike eat top water, Joe. Tucker, you don't want any part of that guy. It's an angry son bitch. Okay, dude. Um, yep, oh, there goes my pike, see you bud, Christ, alright, there's not just small jaws up here, school of smallmouth, and a dirty, nasty, stinky pike head, top water at 2 o'clock p.m., you feel free to go catch one, Dude! Was he? Yeah. It sounded like a big one. Uh, yeah, that was pretty threaded. Unless it was a f***ing pike. It wasn't. Wasn't it? I got him. I had him. I had him. I had him. He pulled back. He pulled back. I don't believe it. Yep. Yep. Got him that time. It's a f***ing dink, I think. Nope. It's it's four pounder. It's one. It's four. Four pounder. One pounder. Four pounder. It's one. That was pretty cool. Though. That was neat. I wonder if it's the same one. It could not. It could be a different one since you know we just had four fish follow it in the same spot right here. There's no way that little chode made that much noise. I don't think so, but I've been known to be wrong about everything. Good one, Brian. Good catch. Thanks for the assist, boys. Finally, hooked a better one. I think that's bigger than the one that I just hooked. Oh yeah, for sure it is. Yes, he did it. Oh my God. Brian just lost one. Just hooked one. Doesn't look like. <sighs> Actually, it looks like the same fish. Mega giant. I mean, it totally could be. They're not exactly the uh, wisest critters. But they've been wiser than us this afternoon, so it feels good. Scrushy. It's a scrushy. Oh. <laughs> nice little they're three and a half. Still, like, football. Yeah. Like, starchy and stuff. Yeah, they're, they're thick whether they're pre spawn or not. Yeah. Sick. Oh, God, that feels good. Same thing, too. He just like crushed it like multiple times and then he just went pew, gone. Did he make that noise? <laughs> he went pew, pew, gone. <laughs> You're a disgrace to the sport the way you release fish. Oh. Dude, I told you that's not an island. It floated in! Let's catch one down to Joe. We got a floater. You need it? No. Pow! That's a dad gum fatty. That ain't a poke spawner. Shoot! Oh boy. We liked it. We liked that lake. It was cool. It was in the middle of nowhere. There isn't even remnants of any human beings ever being here before. But, but, we didn't catch anything over like three, three and a half pounds. So, I'm back in the truck. I think we're gonna drive about an hour. Go check out some more lakes. Zark, what do you think about that lake right there? Tucker, quit smiling! Is that for me? 
No, that's our dinner tonight because we're poor because we've been traveling for so long. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, fought, we made it. We're an hour. I don't even know how far away we are, but we made it to this lake. It's a bigger lake, but uh, this lake's cool. It's the uh, next stop on the, the, the random bound tour. Um, it's bigger. It's got more natural rock in it and stuff, and we're told it has absolute freaking giant smallmouth. So let's, let's launch the boat out there, and we're going to throw some lures and try to catch the, the fish on some lures. Okay, let's do that. Nice. The Zark hooked up with a crappie. Yeah, I bet that's a giant smallie. We don't have the net out either. Get him, Zark. What the fuck did he hook? I'm on a spot like it. I don't know if it's a giant, but it's a smallie. It's the right ski side. Out here to a point, Zark is throwing the only bait that he owns. I get down there and get him for you if you want me. White claws rolling around. Working on my Bassmasters. Uh, oh god. Zark Masters Classic. We're gonna see it here, folks. Oh, my hand went right in his mouth. Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> Nice baby one, Zark. Little chunk. Look at this gut. First fish at the third lake today. Dude, I'm in the rock now up there. I see why you got one. Alright, here he goes. About to happen. Uh oh. Better on this. Still on the net out. No. Nets are for sissies. I promise you. Did you see him? Is it a white crappie or a black crappie? It's a sunfish. Oh, it's a bram. I got you. The net is officially out. My skunk is not. What's up with you guys breaking off? Yeah. Ooh, that one. Rocks there. I can't do the snag. That's a bigger one, I think. Dude, that, we need to mark that spot. There were some serious rocks there. I mean, I kept getting snagged and snagged and snagged. That's a bigger one, I think. What <laughs> rock? Pretty one! Good one, Joe. Nice little chunk. Squirt for you. <laughs> this lake is horseshit! Just kidding. <laughs> it's not. It's not horseshit at all. It's a joke, what that was. <laughs> is that a walleye or a pike head? Oh! It's actually a better one. It's a better one. Got any bugs? Any bugs? That's the best one we've caught. He shrunk. He jumped that first time I went, ooh, God. Yeah, beady cricket you got there. Brian, nice fish. <laughs> Throwing the Sakoshi, little offshore guy. This guy is out of his damn mind. Yeah, he's taking a leap. Look at that. <laughs> oh, God, it's a squirter. Used to be three pounds, not anymore. Cool fish though. Dandy fish. What a dandy. Are we having fun yet? What was that? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Three to. <laughs> it is. Oh, that could be better. Giant dude. 
thing's the biggest one I've ever seen. Into the bass net! Ha! <laughs> Woo! I'm not sorry! I can't help this love like mine! <laughs> I'm not sorry! I can't stop with a love like mine! I can't